Greetings everybody, Foo here with a video on how to put the visor into your RC helmet. Uh, it came time to switch out the visor on my sev. I've had it since 2009 and between heat and other events I started to get some some bubbles in the uh, in the visor so it was just time to replace it. So I bought a uh, Scorpion motorcycle shield which obviously I've cut out already but they've got the circles here that snap onto the helmet and some pegs on the inside. So I just uh, now I got the, the basic basic shape and I gave myself overlap on all the edges and then uh, I went ahead and marked on the inside where these holes are going to be. Let me show you inside the helmet here. Alright, so inside the bucket, what I did, alright, get a right angle here. Alright, you can see right here I have put in a post screw use these a lot of times on things, pick them up at Lowe's for a buck. What I did is I took my Dremel with a little grinder bit and I, I ground out a little pit the diameter of the back side of the post which is you know about that big and then I put some uh, Devcon in there, put the post in and then Devcon over the top edge of it so that when looking at it from the front I could see that it was going to be at a 90 degree sticking straight out. Did the same thing to both sides. So I've got post on the inside to the left there and post to the right. Then what I did is I flipped the helmet upside down, set the visor in, camera down here for a second, and put the visor in. And then I would just press it down onto the post so that I could see that it was equal and I had my nose lined up in the middle and then I would just scratch up the lens a little bit so I knew where that post was going to be. I used a 730 seconds drill to, uh, to drill my hole through and then went ahead and screwed in the one side. You can tighten that up with a screwdriver and then pushing it down firm do the same thing, push it down on the post, move around a little bit to scratch it, drill the hole out on the other side, and then install the screw. And then when you're done, you will have an out of focus. Doop, 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 there we go. Blue visor back in, and you'll be all set to go. And that makes it a lot easier to get the lens in and out without affecting the EL wire and makes for a, a good uh, good switch out. So those of you that have been asking, that's uh, that's how I switch out the visors on those. So post screws, Devcon, a Dremel, or some kind of tool to dig out a little pit to put the back of the post screw in, and uh, and your visor. Like I said, that's the Scorpion XO 750. I think it's a it's a blue iridium motorcycle visor. There's uh, I think G Max is another company that makes them. If you just Google blue uh, blue tinted motorcycle visor, you'll come up with a lot of options. They're going to run you between thirty and fifty dollars but uh, does a really good replacement of those lenses. And don't worry, when you look at it in the light, you're like, oh, I can see right through this. Don't worry about it. Once you get it inside the helmet and there's dark behind it, it does a really good job. As you can see, you can't see what's going on inside there. It gives that a nice blue effect. So, I'm Fu. We'll see you soon.